Welcome back to Airspot On Demand. I'm Kristen. And I'm Jake. And today we're going over the JG P90. And the Classic Army P90 Sport Line. Well, these are both electric, but as you can see just kind of by looking at them, they don't look alike. Yeah, some of the obvious differences. Um, this one comes with a red dot sight that's built into it. We also have another version uh, that just has the regular you know, open rail system. As you can see, this one's shown here with the optional uh, box magazine, which you can purchase on the website for just under $50. We have this classic Army P90 available for $174.95. And uh, this one is $149.95, minus the box mag. Okay, some of the real steel data on this gun. Uh, it, it is uh, modeled after the FN P90, and it is very common, uh, commonly used amongst uh, police and security forces overseas in Europe. Um, you don't see too many of these here in the United States, although they do make a civilian semi-automatic version. Uh, it's chambered for 5.7 by 28 millimeter round. Uh, very, very small, um, very, very fast. It was designed to penetrate uh, body armor. Some of the external features that this gun has, it has a built-in red dot sight and a top rail, or I'm sorry, a side rail right here. Uh, if you're like me, I prefer having the version with the open top rail because I like having my own optic rather than one that comes with the gun. And so the as shown here with the top rail, put your scope, your laser, something cool. The other thing that this gun emphasizes on is the fact that it's ambidextrous. So you have your safety and your safety and selector right down here on the side and your mag release on either side over here. Which is the same with this one, but being a lefty, I would not recommend it to a left-handed person because the clip gets right in your way. It's very uncomfortable. I'm getting carpal tunnel. Uh, battery storage on this gun is located in the back, as with all P90s. Same with this one here. Uh, you'll also see that the motor adjustment is located right back here also, in case you were wondering. And your hop-up adjustment is going to be under your thumb on your strong side, so right down here. Same thing goes for the JG model. Some of the internal features that this gun has is a 290 millimeter inner barrel and an adjustable hop up. Uh, the magazine capacity on the Classic Army version is uh, 300 rounds. Whereas this one is 30 rounds if you just have the clip, but if you get the extra, you can hold a lot more. Yeah, you're close to almost 1,500 to 2,000 rounds, easy. Uh, the only downside about having a uh, the high cap on this gun, which is why I prefer standard caps or that box magazine, is because you actually have to remove the magazine every time you want to wind it up. Whereas on this one, you can just wind from the bottom. All right, so to give you a little bit of the technical data on it, this one will shoot about 390 feet per second, whereas the one Jake has here is more at 320. Yeah, the range on this, what we got posted on our website, is between 160 and 180 feet. Now, you can easily engage a target at that distance. Um, however, it's, it, it's not as practical as it would be to engage a target within 100 feet. So, perfect CQB gun. So, there's a pretty broad range of accessories you can get for either of these guns. Um, obviously, they both have railings. You can, you know, flashlight, laser, scope. Stuff like that. Cool um, stuff. You, the other thing I'd like to notate, one of my personal favorite things to do, um, it does have, come with a standard M4 birdcage uh, flash hider so, and a 14 millimeter counterclockwise mount. So if you wanted to throw a suppressor on there to cover up a longer inner barrel, a longer inner barrel rather than the 290 millimeter one, I would definitely do something like that. Very cool. And they both come with battery and charger. This one you can get the, the box mag that I keep pushing. Um. <laughs> and the box magazine also works with the Classic Army P90. All in all, I think it's a great gun. Uh, definitely compact, perfect for a CQB environment. I find it a little bit awkward for myself with the way that your hands are positioned, but with the fact that uh, it's ambidextrous for the safety selector and you know it comes with the red dot sight, and plus the box magazine, um, I think it's definitely got selling points that would outdo the uh, awkwardness of the feel. Absolutely. Well, thank you once again for coming and checking us out on Airspot On Demand. Uh, come back next week. We'll have something new for you.